Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, this is going to be if your past returns and it was to be continued. Um, I might stick with this one for a little while. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, to be honest with you, I, I didn't rewatch it and I really don't remember. I do remember being kind of like, oh, I wish I could give you a little more um, information, right? But pretty much all I remember and I, I do remember being pulled you know to these deck of cards it's my this deck and this deck of you know two of my first decks so if you're just getting into tarot okay because briefly I got this deck it was the first deck I ever got I believe I got the romance angel shortly after this and then I got this. But this is like for advanced tarot readers. And it, I, I think that's such bullshit. Okay. Especially if, if you're a new reader. Um, it's what you relate to. It, it's visionary too. Okay. I might do a, um, a video for my new readers. Because I, I know it's that energy. Okay. So. But I, I felt the need to tell you that. Okay. Anywho. Any hoozy. Let's do, um, to be continued. To be continued. So if you're dealing with the past, any past, 20 years ago, two years ago, whatever the past is to you, last week, I, I really feel it's more like teenage years, you know, childhood years, whether it's parental energy, however it is for you, but this is just I mean personally if I got pulled to this deck I'd say within the last four years it's it's beating that energy okay seven of pens and the nine of swords came out but um to be continued for the week of August 12th 2020 August 13th 2020 you might be dealing with a Leo, because I just think in the Lion's Gate clothes yesterday, but we have temperance, so this could be healing, this can be reconciliation, damn, okay, I feel a little differently about that devil, I'm not going to lie to you, I think someone's going to try to communicate with you that might be in a relationship. I don't feel great vibes from him right now. Okay, this is more like codependency, toxicity, addiction, temptation, seduction. I'm not getting fear, all right? But could it be Capricorn? You know, possibly with the node, but I, eh, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. This is, you know, to be continued, so... It's a good chance that this could be an addiction, that could be seduction, this could be drinking. So somebody that you're possibly dealing with right now could be in this energy. Hi, Goosey. So, Lonnie? Yes. Oh. You want to you give her a treat and then... I just did. Oh, okay. She just wanted to come here and I'm just waiting for her. Oh, okay. And then we have the moon. Okay. So... This could be deception, it could be, you know, mysterious energy, it could be the unknown. Again, you know, mm, I just feel like this could possibly be an ending of something toxic, an ending of a third party, you know, somebody puts a stop to the temptation, the seduction, the desire, like, screw you, tired of this, okay, um could be drinking, partying, you know, coming home late. There, There's something that's unknown still about whatever this is. Got the Nine of Swords. So not being able to sleep. Stressed out. 
sometimes this could be, oh, I didn't realize you couldn't really see that. Sometimes this could be Dark Knight of the Soul, but I'm not really getting that quite yet. I, I think there needs to be an ending before a beginning. There, there's something here. So what's this tip? Okay, the world wanted to really flip out, okay, and I, I actually just said there's some type of ending for a begin, I, you know, any hoozy. Tell me about temperance, please. I'm not feeling the greatest energy, though, guys. You know, up all night, got a lot on your mind, stressed out, detoxing could be all sorts of stuff so with temperance we have the death card and the king of wands this could be an ending with an aries a fire sign a leo a sag a scorp or this is somebody in the dark night of the soul going through going through something right this second but so you got this masculine energy that's i think trying to figure out how to end something or because I don't feel resisting there. I, I look at it, right? It's like with the Nine of Pence being there too, it's like how do I lure this energy? How do I get it? How do I, I hate to say the word manipulate, but I, I'm not feeling good vibes right that second. What are the vibes of the King of Wands, please? What's this vibe? So there's some type of stop to something. Okay, so... I don't think that's awful vibes. It could have been I wanted to start to something new and it didn't go down. Or this type of energy would not commit. But again, like we have the lovers here, right? Empress under there. So to me, it's just... Yeah. Let's see what the intentions of this Ace of Pence is. Because this could be a reconciliation with somebody. But if that's the case, I, I'm i going to tell you, you might need to hold off a little while longer. Because I'm not liking that vibe. It's too much padding. It's, it's too much something. Like someone's not picking up on something. There should be a lesson here. I don't. I don't see anything like that. Right. So, what's the intentions of this Ace of Pentacles, please? Could it be? Oh, I'll buy you something and make everything better. You know what I mean? Like, could you, you be dealing with that type of energy? Let me take you here and let me wine and dine you. You know, like. That type of situation. Too many just came out. What's this Ace of Pence, please? It does look like there's possible third party scenario here, too. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking. So this energy is watching. Watching you. But I, I knew that anyway. There's some deep watching right there. get the vibe off this devil. What's this devil? We got the fool. That fool and the magician keep coming hand in hand. One more for this devil, please. It's tricky. Yeah, see, it's like, it's risky. Whatever they're up to is, is risky, okay? Look at the, the fool staring right at the three, you know? Three is a freaking crowd, guys. And with the two of pence, you know, juggling. So uh, I'm not I'm not really feeling this scenario right this second for you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not liking it. You know, someone's all up in their head regarding this situation. Can't stop thinking about something. But that's that's juggling. That's There's no balance here. This is a kind of juggle, okay? And in, in, in all retrospect, peeps. They're juggling. So, uh, this energy is not chilling. There's, not, there's nothing kosher about this energy next week. 
whether it's who they're dealing with or this is whom you're dealing with because there's multiple people here okay whether they're sleeping together or not whether this is just people drama friends it's it's irrelevant This is three of cups, please. Nine of wands. So maybe you want to fight for this or, or they want to fight for it, but energy of like holding back or being stubborn, being greedy. Ten of swords. You got the emperor here with the world. Like it's, it's endings. They're all tens. It's like realizing something, but still fighting. You know, it's not like, hey, bow down by any means. It's this is a card of not giving up okay I, I don't know if that's good intentions or not right now I'm not liking these intentions whether it's coming from a fire sign it's, it's irrelevant on what element it's coming from but this could be a bad habit not you know not giving it up or Trying real hard, but not really working. What's this Nine of Wands vibe, please? Yeah, not not cool. Okay. Um, it, it's Seven of Swords. It, it's, it's like deceptive almost. It's like you have this one energy that's pulling on another energy. And there's multiple people here. And they're being manipulative. They're juggling. They're being shady. They're being slick. Okay, so you do have an energy here, and this energy could be feminine troops. It, this could be just with who the masculine is dealing with, or it can be the other way around. It's however it's going to roll for you guys, okay? But you could have a Leo Sag, Airy, Airy Leo Sag here. Possibly manipulating watching is this energy gonna have a new start how do I come in how do I keep myself in this scenario lies what's the moon card two of swords right and Un but this is kind of unwilling to make a decision right this second you know, um, it's, it's stalemate. It's, it's keeping an energy exactly where they want it. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Making you think. Up all night. You know, that type of energy. Nine of Swords, please. Restless nights. Can't sleep. What type of... I, I'm feeling like... Um, I was feeling the Ace of Cups right there. I mean, not the Ace of Cups. The Seven of Cups. And looking at the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. Arguments manipulation, narcissism, <sighs> you know, the nine and the, the nine and the one is a 10. We, so I've seen the 10 of swords a couple times. So it's, it's that it, it's like an ending is, it's it's painful, but it, to me, it's, it's reap what you sow. Okay. I'm not going to try to justify anything here. I think there's a third party. And because you got the magician, the two of cups, the queen of swords, and the three of pence. So somebody is making sure that they remain in the picture, whether they want it or not. Okay. So let's find out what this temperance is real quick. Because I think that might be a feminine energy. And this could be jealousy, temperance, please. This could be a feminine energy trying to stop healing heart, healing from a heartache, freedom from a, freedom from a toxic relationship. So see, this is a feminine. But this feminine is not taking herself out of the picture yet. See what I'm saying? Like there's still manipulation. There's still lies. There's still deception. There, there's still like, I. it's almost like I want one more start, but it's it's a false start. So it's almost like the masculine has to put an end to it because it's, there's nothing about this energy that 
is loving or it's, it's like my way. So you have this one energy that needs to be phased out. You know, so could something have ended already and this is still the energy? Like, hey, I want, I, I need to come back. Like, hey, it's over. But I'm watching this energy and it could be the Cappy within her. I mean, the Scorp within her. It is, it's regardless, right? And it's like, it's an ending. She knows it's toxic, okay? This isn't seduction. This is toxinity. Too many people in the picture and it's more like, Okay, something's over. How do I win back this? It could be dealing with an Aries, a couple cards of Aries here too, but how do I get that new start? Or how do I keep this alive? Because it could she could be linked to money. It, this could be a marriage, I, you know, however it rolls for you. So it looks like this is something, energy that's already done, but she's still in the picture, okay? Um, so this energy is still doing something shady. It needs to be phased out. It's like keeping this energy, what she's doing is keeping this energy around. There could be arguments, there could be manipulation. This energy is coming around where they're getting nervous because they might see something else happening because they're juggling this energy too. Or this woman knows that this other energy is got somebody else and is making sure they're still in the picture because this is this is no good this is I'm going to you know they could get turned down but this is winning at all cost when it comes to something okay many options decisions unconventional stringing along one night stand that's exactly what i just said to me i feel like it's more stringing you along keeping the conversation going keeping you stagnant keeping the unknown open you got an energy stressing out or worrying or they're making sure this other energy is worrying or stressing out i'm really sad this would be karma this would be like sorry toots okay so if if you're involved in this or you're the other person, however however it's rolling for you, um, just be aware that this is this is not the greatest energy. If this is somebody new that you started seeing and this is the energy of the ex or whatever's lingering, just know this energy is not gonna be in the greatest mood. They're gonna have to deal with this energy and and they might not even see the manipulation yet, because it's it's almost like it's over, but is somebody throwing me something new? It's like throwing you a bone, but this could be more, like I said, I'll clarify the ace, but to me, it's it's like the energy watching. Yeah, Seeds, Auto Cups, Five of Pence, like, hey, you can't leave me behind, or they're worried about their money. You know, like, hey, let me, especially if there's children involved or... You guys work together or you had a business together. It's it's there it could be linked to money. What's this ace of coin? Cause this is a somebody trying to either pinch some more pennies or trying to get a new start in, in a way that's not working. Yeah, see, strategizing. This energy is already healed from the situation. Again, could be dealing with a Leo. But strategizing, keeping the options open trying to trying to figure out how to go about this see I'm not I'm not kind of liking it see what I'm saying again with the nine of wands trying to figure it out three of cups there's too many people in the party they're really strategizing real hard on uh, how to go about this like I said stringing this energy along what's the seven of cups because they've already healed from it, right? But how do I keep the doors open? How do I keep my options open? How do I make myself still part of the picture? And if you're dealing, if this is a baby mama or a baby daddy, regarding on how you're reading this, it, it's just, it's, it's stringing along energy. It's almost like they don't have to do much. They can just sit back and, and, and they're still able to keep this damn door open. Okay. So, again, they're keeping a really good eye 
on what this person's doing. They're, they're pretty, they're pretty smart. Like I said, and I, you know, it, it's, it's the whole, how do I, who, what, when, where, how, up, down, it's all the highs, the lows. This energy is not ready to, they don't have to, they don't have to do much. You could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, they're trying to figure it out. Judgment. So this energy might even come back in and like, forgive me, second chance. Can I have a second chance? It's, it's for the wrong reasons. Okay. This energy is stringing another energy along and the best advice I can give you, ladies and gents, don't go run into this energy and being like, oh, she's X, Y, Z, can't you see it? No. This is energy they got to figure it out themselves. There's This is them, okay? They're, if They need to choose to let this go. Because now they're questioning this chica where they haven't fully healed from this either. She she has, but she's got some pain. She's got some karma. What goes around comes around. What this energy felt a while ago, she's now going to feel it. Because I, I think it's like, all right, I might say goodbye. But they don't, they don't quite know what to do either. So take yourself out of the equation. Because there's another energy here. And it, it's just like, it, it, is, it is what it is. Let them figure out that this energy is needs to be phased out. You you can't be part of, doo -doo 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 -doo. you know. It's just, and 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 it sucks, troops, because there's not even I don't even see a damn lesson. So I just hope this energy figures it out. Look, you got the fathers of cups and the ten of swords again. All right, so with the nine of pence, this is very alluring energy, what, you know, reminiscing, yeah, here we go, reminiscing about this chica, the empress, whoever she is, sad, what do I do, or she's sad that it's over, you know, what do I do, it's, she's very alluring, she still has, she can still pull on this person's heartstrings, okay, and, and that's not for you to be like, blah, 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 it, it's not, okay, so, if you're the other energy and you're not really in this read, you're just, you're the one that's just kind of like right here, kind of being juggled, even though you might got something good, you still got this one energy that knows how to pull this string in it. It's, it's shitty, but let me get your best advice real quick. And if you're the other person and you're just kind of watching this unfold, you're aware of it. There's not much you can do, you know. It, it is what it is. You know, strength. And then you got the three of pens. So, you know, teamwork, work hard. You know, it's not saying not be part of this situation, but just just have the strength. And there's there's something here that you have with this person. It's the infinity sign. You know, it's it's a strong, it's a powerful, it's the most powerful number in the deck in eight, too, right? So, um, the infinity sign itself. Just hang in there, compromise if you can. You know, there needs to be a, some cooperation. You, you got to kind of know, just just don't give up type energy. Um, six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like there could be something that works out to you guys' benefit. But right now, just just hang in there. Let me just clarify this three of pens because the two of them came out together. But to me, it's you have the strength to endure what you're going through. You're strong. You might be saying, have that strength, hold back, don't involve yourself in a situation now. Or this might be saying, you have some type of karmic contract. Not karmic, well, everything's karmic, but it doesn't have to be in a bad way. Um... You see the clarity. You're you're figure it out. You see something. Um, 
you have the nine of swords. So this might be your nine of swords too. Like worry, you know. But I feel like this is just kind of, you're going to get some clarity or, or you kind of already know what's going down. Um, and look at another infinity sign, another eight. That's two eights. Tell me about the strength card. You got the clock. Okay, so it says it needs time, take time, especially it's a cycle. Could be progress or, you know, time time to heal from this situation. And then seduction came out too. Attraction, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. I, I think it's just saying, look at there's still, there's still some interference here. There's a cycle that, that clearly needs to end. Okay, um, I'm not picking up the whole seduction bad thing here tell me about seduction i think this is more or less just kind of like there's still interference this energy needs to phase out the other energy it's that it's that type of energy so yeah it's it's the ten of pence energy it's This could be saying something needs to end, but I am more. This is all about like a, a new foundation, a solid foundation. Um, but it's a 10, so I think just something needs to end right this second. Yeah, bottom of the deck. All right, so you got the nine of yeah, three of swords, nine of cups. I mean, eight of three of swords, eight of cups. And the nine of cups. So this one energy needs to, whomever you're dealing with, this is an ending. So it might be a family involved because this card represents family. And it's the third party and it's, it's this energy over here. Okay. This needs to end. It is going to be hard. They need to walk away. And when they do walk away, they're going towards the nine of cups. Whether it's you or it's just their happiness. Okay, it's it's just telling me, you know, wishes, desires, fulfillment is coming once this other energy that's probably going to stress out, not really knowing what's going on. They need to walk away from, from this energy. This is an energy that's stringing somebody along, okay? It, they are interfering with whatever it is you have. The other woman is, is not even in this read right now, I think, because it's just more important for you guys to know what's going on with them, Okay, so this is going to take time, but there will be progress. So hang in there, okay? Focus on you, do you, and have a wonderful week. I love you guys. Bye. And again, to be continued.